Are you wondering how to get into Geisel School of Medicine? Geisel School of Medicine is the only medical school in New Hampshire. It also happens to be one of the most competitive and highly regarded medical schools in the world. With the help of this video, you will learn its admission statistics and eligibility criteria, admissions requirements and strategies that will help you get accepted. Hi, my name is Chris and I'm an admissions associate here at BMO. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe on whatever social media channel you're watching this from now so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. If you would like us to help you get into the Geisel School of Medicine, click on the link either above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. As a quick tip, check out the timestamps in the description of this video to navigate to specific sections of the video that you're interested in. Here's what we're going to cover. Admission statistics and eligibility, available programs, recommended courses, tuition and debt, selection factors, interview format, and acceptance and waitlist information. By the way, we're giving away $50 Amazon gift cards every week to the best comments and questions, so comment below for a chance to win. There's this one thing that will dramatically increase your chances of acceptance to Geisel School of Medicine. I'll explain towards the end, so keep watching to find out. Let's get started. Geisel's overall success rate is 1.1%. The success rate of in-state applicants is 6.4%. Success rate of out-of-state applicants is 1%, and the success rate of international applicants is 0.7%. The average MCAT of matriculants is 516, and the average GPA is 3.78. Geisel School of Medicine accepts applicants from all over the world. As you can see from their acceptance statistics, in-state applicants tend to have a higher acceptance rate than their out-of-state counterparts. Dartmouth's medical school program builds the practice of medicine on a foundation of basic science. The training of clinical skills is done through experimental learning that spans all four years. The first year clinical skills course on doctoring employs simulated clinical experience for first year students to enhance learning, observation, and feedback. The simulated clinics start in September and run until April of the first year. Another popular course, Patient and Populations, exposes students to issues of great importance to healthcare. Candidates looking to apply to Geisel's MD-PhD program must simply complete the MCAS Combined MD-PhD application, the MD-PhD Statement of Interest form, and the Geisel School Secondary application. The MD-PhD program takes seven to eight years to complete. At Geisel, the first two years of your education will be dedicated to completing the pre-clerkship MD curriculum. After this, you will be required to complete the PhD phase of the curriculum. Typically, it takes about four years to obtain your PhD. Following that, you will complete the MD portion of the program, i.e. your clerkships. This program is coordinated with Dartmouth's Tuck School of Business. To become enrolled, you must apply to the Tuck School during your second year as a medical school student. The MD MBA program admits up to six students annually students tend to complete the combined program in five or six years. Visit our blog to learn about other programs available at Geisel School of Medicine. You must complete a bachelor's degree to matriculate. Your undergraduate degree can be completed in any discipline you prefer, but you must demonstrate having taken the following subjects. One year, eight semester hours or equivalent of general biology and general physics. Two years, 16 semester hours or equivalent of chemistry, which must include one semester or equivalent of organic chemistry and one semester or equivalent of biochemistry. One half year, three semester hours or equivalent of college level mathematics, including either calculus or statistics. Although there is no expiration date for your prerequisites, Geisel School of Medicine encourages students who have been out of school more than three years to complete some recent science coursework before applying to the MD program. The tuition and fees for in-state and out-of-state students at Geisel School of Medicine is $67,794. The total cost of attendance is $87,872 per year. The average graduating debt at Geisel is $207,739. 
Now let's go over Geisel's selection factors. As a member of the Ivy League medical schools, it will not come as a surprise that Geisel School of Medicine has a highly selective admissions process. This is why your GPA must at least match the GPA threshold set by the previous year's matriculants. Your academic record is the primary indicator of your ability to keep up with the rigors of the MD curriculum and your familiarity with the core MD prerequisites. Keep in mind that the average accepted GPA is 3.78. Your MCAT must be written within three years of your application date. You must score at least 503 to be considered for admission. Students with MCAT scores of 502 or below will not be sent a secondary application. Don't forget that most recent matriculants had an average score of 516 on their MCAT, so it's important to try and achieve this score to be a competitive applicant. Your GPA and MCAT are the yardstick with which you will be measured against other MD applicants. So in order not to give the admissions committees any reasons to cut you out of the initial applicant pool, you should strive to meet these minimums. Your MCAS personal statement will provide the admissions committee with the first glimpse of your candidacy outside of scores and grades. Essentially, your personal statement must answer one important question. Why do you want to be a doctor? You will have only 5,300 characters to tell your story. This means that you will need to be very selective about what you include in the essay. Remember, you must achieve a minimum score of 503 on your MCAT to be eligible to receive a secondary application. All applicants who meet this threshold will receive the secondary application. You will have until December to submit your secondaries to Geisel. Geisel School of Medicine will accept a composite recommendation from your school's pre-medical committee. If your school does not have a pre-medical committee, you must submit a minimum of three individual letters. A maximum of five individual letters is accepted. In addition to three academic references from science and non-science instructors, you are encouraged to submit letters from supervisors, employers, and other colleagues who know you well. If you are in graduate school, one of your three academic referees must be your thesis supervisor. Extracurriculars for medical school allow the admissions committee to see what kind of activities informed your decision to apply to medical school. Not all your experiences need to be medically related, but the committee needs to see that you have taken the necessary steps to test drive your future career. Therefore, you are recommended to have clinical and shadowing experiences. For your reference, 84% of Geisel's last year matriculants had medical and clinical volunteer experience. 53% had medical and clinical paid employment experience. 78% of Geisel's matriculants had physician shadowing and clinical observation experience. Additionally, 77% had other community service and volunteer experiences, while over 95% had research and lab experience. Geisel School of Medicine starts sending out interview invitations in August of the year of the application. The interview season begins in September and continues through March. Interviews take place on Thursdays. The day begins with a welcome from the Associate Dean of Admissions. After this, you will have an information session with the admissions and financial aid team followed by a group exercise. In the afternoon, you'll have two 30-minute one-on-one interviews conducted by members of Geisel's admissions committee. The day ends with brief closing remarks from the Associate Dean. Geisel School of Medicine sends out acceptance notices starting in October. The latest acceptance notices are sent in July of the year of entrance. You will have about two weeks to respond to your offer. According to the latest data, Geisel has from 10 to 30 waitlist positions available per application cycle. 21 acceptance offers were granted to applicants on the waitlist last year. Check out our blog to learn more about Geisel School of Medicine. I've included a link in the description of this video so you can find the blog easily. If you would like us to help you get into Geisel School of Medicine, click on the link either above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, so please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. If you have any questions about Geisel that I didn't cover in this video, let me know in the comments section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And don't forget, we're giving away $50 Amazon gift cards every week to the best comments and questions, so comment below for a chance to win. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.